This is how I configure ad payment info event for a Shopify store using the newer customer pixel section, Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4. So first thing we have to do is make sure that the customer pixel is properly connected with our Shopify store and it is triggering the data layer event. Let's go to our Shopify store and on the bottom left hand, let's click on the settings button. Scroll down to the option of customer events and then click on add a new customer pixel. Let's rename it to add payment info because this is the data layer for that. And let's add data layer next to it and hit add pixel. Now this step is really important for us. So make sure that the permissions are set to not required and data sale is set to does not qualify. Then in the description of this video, you will find a link where you can copy the code snippet that we are going to paste here. So let's copy a code snippet and paste it right here. After pasting the code snippet, the only thing we have to update is the Google Tag Manager container ID. Scroll all the way to the top where you find the gtm-xxx and now let's replace it with the official Google Tag Manager ID of your account. To get that, go to the tagmanager.google.com and then click on the ID right here. Let's select this ID and hit copy. Go back to our Shopify store and replace the ID right here. Now let's just click on save changes and connect this Shopify pixel with the customer event section. Scroll all the way to the top and then click on connect and hit connect again. This will automatically connect this pixel with our Shopify backend. Before moving to the next step of Google Tag Manager, let's just take one minute to verify if the event is properly firing on our store or not. To do that, let's go to the front end of our store by clicking on view online store and let's try to trigger this add payment info event. To do that, we need to have some items in the cart. So I'm going to go to any of the product pages on my website and then click on buy it now because we don't have to go to the cart pages for this. Once you click on buy it now, it will take you to the checkout pages of your Shopify store. Let's add the details of our account. Let's also add some details here. And now let's just add the a bogus card. Let's add anything, one, two, three. And now we have the information of test. So let's do test and test. To show that whether the events are working here or not, let's click on inspect and go to the console. Great. Seems like I have to re-add the payment details. So let's re-add them right here. And as soon as we will click on pay now, this is where the add payment info event is going to trigger because the user had made a payment and that has been successfully counted. We can see that the add payment info event has fired inside the data layer and it also has the e-commerce object which contains the currency, details of the item that was purchased, tax and value. Now the next step is to configure a Google Tag Manager tag that is going to track this add payment info event and send it back to the Google Analytics. But first we have to make sure that the page view event for Google Analytics is working which is basically the configuration tag. To make sure that the configuration tag is working on the website we have to just go back to our Google Tag Manager container, switch to the tag sections and then click on add new. For the triggers, let's select all pages and for the tag, let's select Google tag. The only thing we require here is the measurement ID. To get the measurement ID, we have to go back to our Google Analytics account. Luckily, there is a new search feature where we can just search for measurement ID and copy the measurement ID. Let's go back to the Google Tag Manager container and paste the ID right here. Let's rename it as GA4 configuration tag and hit save. Great, the next thing we have to do is create an event that will track the add payment info event. Since we don't want this tag to fire on all the pages of the website, we only want it to fire whenever the add payment info event triggers. So let's create a new trigger for this one. Since this is going to be a custom data layer event, so let's select a custom event and the name of the event can be found from the data layer right here. We can see that the data layer name is add payment info. So I'm going to copy this and paste it right here. Let's rename this trigger as custom event add payment info and hit save. Now we have to configure the tag for the Google Analytics. Let's select GA4 event tag and again it needs the measurement ID. So let's paste the measurement ID right here. The name of the event is add payment underscore info and we also want to send some user information. So let's create some event parameter for this one. We want to track value, shipping, tax, coupon, items and currency. We already have all of this information inside the e-commerce object right here. So now we have to do is create data layer variable that will get all of these values one by one. So let's start from the first one, which is the value. So let's create a new data layer variable. To do that, let's just select a data layer variable first and let's rename it as e-commerce.value. What this is going to do is go inside this e-commerce object and get this value parameter. So this one will show 1433.76. So let's rename this as DLV ecommerce.value. Now we have to do the same thing for shipping. So let's create one for shipping. 
let's rename it as ecommerce.shipping and let's rename the variable itself to dlv ecommerce.shipping now let's create another data layer variable for text let's go to data layer variable and click text dlv ecommerce.text and now we can create a same one for coupon so let's create data layer dot ecommerce dot coupon we have two more variables to create and the first one is items so let's create a new data layer variable for items and the last one we have is the currency so let's create one more new data layer variable for currency great let's rename this tag as dlv currency Perfect. Now we can rename this tag itself to Google Analytics custom event add underscore payment underscore info. Let's hit save. Unfortunately, we won't be able to test this event using the preview window like we used to do in the other events. Therefore, we have to submit these changes. So let's rename this as tracking academy GA4 add payment info and hit continue. Great, now we have successfully added all these events. Let's just go back to our Shopify store and create one more event to see if the tags are working fine or not. Let's go to our Shopify store again. Let's go to any of the product pages now. Instead of doing add to cart, I'm just going to directly buy it now because all we have to do is check whether the add payment info event is firing or not. Let me open the inspect tab again so we can see the event triggering on the right side. Using this extension for adverse data layer, you can see all of the events that are firing for Google Analytics right here. So we can see that the page view event is properly triggering. Let's go to the checkout payment section and add a payment card. Great, and now let's just click on pay now to process this order. As soon as the processing is done, we can see that the add payment info event has fired again inside the data layer and this has triggered a Google Analytics event for add payment info. This event has all the product information, value, shipping, text, coupon and all the things that we need. So this is how you can verify. Now, if you want to see how to configure 